roasted pepper feta poppers. So I'm just chopping off the ends and just taking out the seeds and that little bit of membrane. Now I'm gonna make the cheese filling for these poppers. And I'm using feta cheese because I love feta. It's one of my favorites. I'm gonna add in four cloves of garlic going in. Then I've got eight ounces of just chunky feta cheese. And I'm gonna use some cream cheese. It kind of balances out that saltiness of the feta. And I just need a couple of ounces. Soften cream cheese. I also love cream cheese. Let me save this for another use. A couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm gonna use a couple of pepperoncinis. These are sort of like a banana pepper. They're mild and very tasty. And I'm just gonna cut the stems off and throw them right in. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of that juice. About a tablespoon. I just want to pulse this all together. Just till it's nice and smooth. Then I'm gonna chop up a little bit of fresh parsley. A couple of tablespoons will do it. And then about a teaspoon of dried oregano. And you just wanna give it a light pulse because I don't wanna pulverize all those herbs. You just wanna mix them in. All right, this looks good to go. This is gonna be so yummy. And now I'm just gonna fill these perfect little mini peppers. I recommend finding the smallest spoon you have. This will make them stuff a little bit easier. Then I'm just gonna stuff these peppers with as much cheese as it can handle. As these bake, they're gonna get nice and bubbly and roasted, and the peppers will get even sweeter. All right, here's our last little popper. I do have some leftover feta. Do not get rid of this. Cover it up, put it in the fridge, eat it on a cracker. It's amazing. And these are gonna roast in the oven, and this is a really cool trick. So I'm using a bunt pan that I've sprayed with cooking spray, and I'm gonna cook these standing up. Because if you just put them in the bunt pan, they'll kind of slide around a little bit, but this will kind of give us a better chance of keeping all that feta cheese actually locked inside the pepper. So I just wanna make kind of a loose snake, and then we're just gonna go into the inside and give ourselves a little buffer. And I'll show you how this works. You take a pepper and just go into the space and the foil will kind of keep it standing up. Okay, now I'm gonna put this into the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. Just gonna let them roast and let that cheese get really melty. The perfect little snack for my backyard concert. Okay, I can smell these poppers. They smell amazing and they are ready. Look at that. These are beautiful and perfect and they smell amazing. The cheese has gotten just a little bit browned on top and those peppers are perfectly roasted. And now I'm just gonna take them out and put them on a serving platter. These look amazing. I always say this, but I love to serve little snack foods that are also hearty and pack a punch. And these definitely have all that going on. That says party, doesn't it? I'm gonna just give these a little taste. That looks good. Mm. Sweetness of the peppers, saltiness of the feta. Everybody's gonna love these. 